Kevin McCullough. All right, friends, I told you last hour we're in the final stretches of trying to help 600 um, deeply impoverished and near-death children uh, get life-saving food with Food for the Poor. Uh, We have been doing this for the majority of the summer, and here as we uh, begin fall, we have other priorities that we need to move on to. This is the last night we're able to advocate for what they're doing. But plain and simple, these children will die if they do not have food that helps sustain them for the next year. And for $80, for $80, you could give them 700 meals each uh, to help them sustain that, uh, to help them sustain their life. And I want to say thank you to the many of you that have uh, been involved. We have seen just in the last week, gifts come from Las Vegas, New Orleans, the middle of the country, Texas, Florida, New York, all over the country, people are saying, I want to help save a child's life, and I want to do everything I can to make sure that they do not go without food uh, for the next year. Uh, 700-plus meals each is what you are providing when you give that gift of $80 tonight. And I would encourage you to make it a multiple. If you could do $160, Uh, That would take care of two children. $240 would take care of three. But because of tonight and the match that's on, if you give an $80 gift, you're going to help two children get those 700 meals each. That's 1,400 meals in the next year, two meals per day that they will get to uh, enjoy as they go through. If you do... um, uh, if you are in the process of uh, giving a um, $160 gift, normally that would take care of two children. Tonight, it's going to take care of four for the coming year. Again, 700 plus meals each for the entire coming year. Here's the phone number, 855-349-4673, 855-349-4673. And if you, uh, if you give a gift of $240, which would take care of three children, that's actually going to turn into six because you give it tonight. This is the last night that we're able to do anything with this. Uh, and I, I'm just begging you, please, we've got 160 children that we've rescued. There are 440 still on the list that we didn't get to. And if you'd prefer to give online, and a lot of you have, you can give at instagood.org, I-N-S-T-A-G-O-O-D.org, instagood.org. And if you'd prefer to give by text, um, you can text my name, Kevin, K-E-V-I-N, to 93999 and they'll shoot you back a link that you can uh, you can give uh, right there on your phone. Text Kevin to 93999, go to instagood.org or dial 855-349-4673. And when you do, you are changing a, a person's life. And let me tell you about the types of children that you are impacting. Uh, there are children that Food for the Poor reaches uh, through their network of pastors and clergy and ministry that are on the ground. By the way, none of the resources go through the government offices or uh, the cartels or depending on the country, uh, you know, the the mob. Uh, These meals are delivered exclusively through their ministry partners that are on the ground, have been on the ground for 40 years in the 17 countries where these children exist, where they are, where the most impoverished children are. And I'm talking about the world's most impoverished children. I'm talking about Guatemala, where, you know, children are dying every day because they just don't have enough food to eat. Uh, El Salvador, same picture. Haiti, uh, maybe the poorest uh, country on the planet. It's usually between them and Burundi. Uh, in terms of who is the poorest, but but deeply, deeply impoverished children. Um, and personally, I went and saw what the poverty in this part of the world looks like. And I remember when I landed in Haiti the very first time, and it is quite an experience to go to the true third world and to experience poverty on this level. But I was with a church group, and we were going down, um, and I wanted to see what Food for the Poor was doing. Uh, and when we landed, I remember... Um, oh, well, first of all, I remember when the plane was coming into the little airport in um, Port-au-Prince, uh, no, not Port-au-Prince, Cape Haitian, up in the uh, north. When we were approaching the runway, I remember seeing stuff spread out all over the tip of the runway. And I'm asking uh, one of the people, I said, what, what is that? And they said, that's the laundromat. They were joking. But people were drying their laundry on the runway of the airport because that was a big, flat, dry spot that people could get sunshine and make sure that their laundry got dry. 
um, I remember taxiing a little bit after we landed and finally the door opened and I remember the smell that instantly filled the, the cabin of the airplane. I remember um, how our uh, guide said, whatever you do, don't give anything to one of the children until you've talked to either the pastor or myself to tell you if it's all right. And I remember one of the people on our uh, plane not doing that, and he gave a brand new toothbrush to a child, and suddenly there were 50 children with hands out asking for uh, that same toothbrush. The desperation, the poverty, the the sense of helplessness. I've never I've never felt it that way. Um, and I remember when we were served some very hot sandwiches that weren't intended to be hot. They were cold cut sandwiches, but they were in the uh, the open Haitian sun. Um, and when one of the people on our trip could only eat about half of it and put the other half down, I remember kids grabbing it, fighting over it. Um, and ended up sharing the small pieces of it because they were that hungry. Poverty has a smell, it has a taste, it has a look, it has a desperation, it has a sense of hopelessness. Um, and I, I remember all of those experiences being imprinted upon me. But I remember something else too. I remember going to um, the first time I went to a Food for the Poor feeding program. And this was uh, in the you know, rough and tumble part of uh, one of the cities in Haiti. And I remember how orderly the children lined up. Uh, I remember how, you know, graciously the, the ladies that were there that made the rice and the beans dished them out. And when there was a brother and a sister that came up, the brother who was in line first took his and he turned and he gave it to his sister. And then he asked if he could have more. I remember the solution that food for the poor was for those children and friends for 700 meals in the next year, that solution is going to provide the nutrition they need to survive in Haiti, in Guatemala, in El Salvador, uh, in the poorest places in the Western Hemisphere. Ready or not, we'll be right back. 